Prince Charles has been a very courageous man because he has never thought through the throne he will occupy. He has thought through the planet he lives on. I could only somehow imagine that I find myself being born into this position for a purpose. But I started 22 years ago as something that nobody really wanted to know about, except a few people. I think Prince Charles is a real problem. I think he's um, got some very strange views of the world. I think he has a very strange view of his own um, role in the world. He's got a sort of messianic complex way things in people are here to save us from ourselves. Um, yeah. But, you know, after this film, it was like, okay, you know, we thought he was goofy, but in actual fact, he was prescient and wise. Charles has done the most wonderful, he's done more good in the world than anybody I can think of in, in the last 30 years since he's been an adult and had a career. And right back in the 70s, you know, he realised that we have to live in harmony with the world. This is a call to revolution. The earth is under threat. We cannot cope with all that we demand of it. It is losing its balance, and we humans are causing this to happen. Revolution is a strong word, and I use it deliberately. Who missed it? Prince Charles wants nothing less than to remake the world's economy. Everybody's terrified. They seem to think that suggesting that there's another way of looking at economics is somehow some kind of monstrous threat to capitalism itself. But if capitalism itself doesn't take into account natural capital, we're all stuffed. I mind about your children's welfare as mine, and I think we are failing miserably in our duty if we don't <laughs> take these matters very seriously indeed, because by God, their lives are going to be in misery. We've never seen this guy. This guy's great. Like, we've, we've, we've been watching him on the news and we've been seeing him interviewed on the BBC and <coughs> the they had never seen this, this person. <laughs>